Kupinja is on location at the Rouge offices to welcome new president of Rouge, Duncan Bureau. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, Duncan. Fresh on the job, and we want to know where you're going to take Rouge in the next year or two. Well, thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for coming to the Rouge offices and checking it out. Uh, we're incredibly proud of this location. We're in incredibly proud of the team we have here. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just an incredible pleasure for me to come over and join this team. So I'm very much looking forward to that. You know, we have 1,400 flight attendants. We have 600 pilots. Um, the network has just grown so tremendously uh, over the last five years. And, uh, you know, Al Reed and uh, uh, certainly Michael Friesdale and Renee Vlad-Smith and uh, Sean and the team have all done a great job here. And so for me, it's really exciting. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's an established brand now. Uh, we have a great network, um, and we have a lot of things going on here. So uh, I'm excited to be here. Duncan, I want to ask you uh, two things. One, uh, there is a price war that is probably mm -hmm. going to start out in the marketplace with uh, ULCCs coming online. Sure. Is Rouge going to jump into that competition? Well, a couple things. One is, as you know, Air Canada uh, just launched branded fares, and we're getting uh, a response that we believe uh, certainly can deal with any new entrant uh, into the marketplace. So from a pricing perspective, we're well equipped. Uh, and the Rouge brand is extremely well equipped to uh, deal with low-cost carriers. You know, Rouge is not an LCC, and it's it's not a ULCC. It was never intended to be that. Right. It really was intended to be complementary to uh, mainline uh, and deliver uh, markets where historically would have been tougher for us to compete. And uh, with the uh, network, uh, with the fleet type, uh, with the relationships we have with our crew, uh, we really are now in a position to compete with anyone. And so. I, I'm really not concerned about uh, the entrance, uh, new ULCC entrance. I think we're well equipped. Okay. You have some experience keeping costs down at a different carrier yeah. <laughs> in a prior incarnation. Yeah. So how are you going to use that experience to grow Rouge while keeping costs down? You know, cost is a big part of the organization and certainly part of our DNA. And so we certainly get the benefit of Air Canada Mainline in terms of, uh, you know, their network. We take advantage of their uh, network planning. Mm -hmm. We take advantage of revenue management. We take advantage of their sales organization. Uh, we have access to lounges. We have access to the Air Canada network, which really is a benefit to the consumer. You know, we're talking about right. um, the ability for a consumer to transfer out of a Rouge uh, environment into a Mainline environment and vice versa. Uh, you know, we have lounges that uh, these customers and passengers can use. So we have a great product and we have a breadth of product for everybody. You know, Rouge really has allowed us to expand the market. Uh, it's allowed us to add about 40 new destinations uh, to Air Canada's network uh, over the last four years. And so more product, uh, more destinations, more nonstop service. Uh, and for our travel trade partners, more product to sell uh, on a product um, that they have a lot of comfort with. Now, it's no secret when Rouge launched five years ago, there was a little bit of a misstep in positioning it to the consumer and mm -hmm. I think to the travel agent. Mm -hmm. Has a lot of that pain now been overcome and do agents embrace it for what it is, a leisure carrier and not mainline? Yeah, so I think what we have to remember is the Rouge brand is really uh, a competing product versus WestJet, versus Transat, versus Sunwing, right. versus high density US carriers. Uh, and international carriers, the wows and the whizzes of the world. This is the fighting brand uh, against those products or those competitors. Mm -hmm. uh, the reality is, it's not Air Canada Mainline, and it was never intended to be. You know, Air Canada Mainline is a four-star uh, carrier. It's a premium brand, and we're not afraid uh, or ashamed to be asking for a premium when people fly that product. It is a great product. Uh, the Rouge brand is a perfectly situated brand for us to compete uh, in that marketplace. Um, so uh, I think the consumer really now understands what Rouge is. I think the travel trade really understands what Rouge is. Um, and it really, at the end of the day, is about meeting the expectation of the consumer with the product that we're delivering. So if we can do a great job building the expectation and making sure the customer understands what they're buying, I think that's the battle. And you personally, Duncan, you've been so active in sales, global sales. Mm -hmm. You're now in a very different position as president. How, how, is your, how do you see your role shifting? Well, you know what? I, I don't know that it's that different. The fact is, and on the sales side, um, having an incredible team uh, really allows you to uh, look after and sort of remove obstacles for those folks. It's no different as president. I think my job here is to really help the team remove obstacles. Uh, we have a great team here. We have a great uh, marketing group. We have a great operations group. We have a tremendous flight crew. Um, so there's nothing here that needs to be fixed. It's about growing the business uh, and really working on the culture here. This is an organization that we really believe is uh, a, a unique culture, and it's something that uh, will drive this brand and drive us forward. 
I know for some of the trade, uh, they will be sorry not to see you uh, as active on the Air Canada side. So any messages before I let you go that you know you'd like to share? I, so since joining Air Canada, we had a tremendous run. You know, it was four years working with a fantastic team. Uh, the opportunity to work with Travel Trade in Canada, again, for me, is always uh, something that I really enjoy. And we grew the business by $4 billion um, in that time period. And that really was a function of uh, a growing network. It was a function of a tremendous team, great product, great network. Um, so, you know, here at Rouge, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grow this airline and uh, we're going to continue to invest in our people. Uh, we're going to continue to invest in the product. Um, and we're really excited about what uh, the next five years will look like. And so, as you know, we're celebrating our fifth anniversary on July 1st. And so we've carried 25 million people uh, in that time. And uh, it's a tremendously successful story. If you look around the world, not many startups uh, got to this position as quickly as we did uh, with a great brand, great product, and great team. Well said. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you.